Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Last time we uh, left off, we had just finished the stock market year and we had finished getting interest rate, tax rate, and dollars in, uh, finally eliminating that nasty primitive obsession that's been hanging out there. Um, I want to quickly clean up this. That's been done. Um, not going to do that right now. This is obviously good to do, but it's probably not going to put that in until after the UI. I don't know if it even needs to be on the list. I'm sure I'll remember it. Um, this one real quick. I think that for right now it's okay to withdraw more than the starting balance. That's um, that's a bigger question. It's really about it, once we run out of money into in one account, we need to take money from a different account. And since we only have one type of account right now, um, I think that's just fine. So that's it for the middle layer of the application, the domain layer, for now. Uh, what I want to do is create a vertical slice. So I want to create a really bare bones application that does everything from UI to persistence. Uh, if that's a database or something else I don't know yet. Uh, that actually works, uh, even if it doesn't solve all the problems I need it to solve. So what that means is, uh, next up is UI. Um, just a quick philosophical note, the approach I'm using here is called a domain first or middle out, um, meaning that I'm doing the domain layer and then I'm going to move from there to the persistence layer and the UI layer. Another equally valid approach is to start with the UI layer, that's called top down. A uh, less common approach is start with a database and uh, go up from there, that's called bottom up. Um, and maybe different people use those terms differently than I do. They're not exactly defined. Uh, and those are equally valid. I like the middle out approach in most cases because uh, the domain layer is really easy to work on. Uh, so it allows me to wrap my head around the problem. It's also where all the crunchy good bits pieces are. And if you're working on something that's got a lot of meat to it, like a financial application does, that's where a lot of the hard questions are as well. In a simpler application, say a UI on top of a database with no real logic but lots of data to manipulate, then uh, top-down might be a better approach if, you're, if your hard problems are in the area of UI, you want to explore that first. Or if your hard problems are in the area of database, say you're doing search or something that requires a lot of data manipulation, then bottom-up might be the place to start. Uh, here though, I started with middle out. Uh, which means that now that the middle layer is done for this thin vertical slice, uh, I'm going to start in the UI. There's just one problem. Um, as with everything up at, I've done up until now, uh, as I start, I really have no clue what I'm doing. I mean, none. I don't even know what the current UI options in Java are anymore. It's been several years since I worked in Java uh, seriously. Uh, when I work with my clients, they are sometimes using Java, but they generally have established conventions, and I just go with whatever they use. So I don't know what's current. I don't even know if I want to do a desktop application or a HTML application. This is all going to run client-side for now. Uh, but I do think that HTML and JavaScript are the UI of the future. Uh, I have a blog entry on this. If you do a Google search, I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, but not only that, uh, it's, it's also a real pain in the butt to use, don't get me wrong. But I do think that just looking at the direction smartphones are going, uh, looking at the direction the web is going, uh, rich client UIs are well on their way out. Uh, and I think from a video perspective, it would be a lot more interesting to do HTML. But I don't really want to try to embed a server into my app and have a HTML client all on a client side. Very clunky. Um, so I don't even know what type of UI technology I want to use, let alone how to use it, let alone what the best, nice, simple, clean uh, API library framework is going to be. So I'm clueless once again. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, go do some research, do some training, write some spikes. Those are little simple, small, standalone pro uh, programs to explore the technology and uh, get back to you. And I don't know, maybe I'll edit in a training montage or something.